Have stocks beaten silver and gold? Well, the data might surprise you. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. And in this video, I'm going to look into whether or not the stock market has done better or worse than gold and silver. If you have invested in the stock market or invested in precious metals, you're going to want to see this video. Now, if you know me and my channel, my philosophy of stacking the Yankee way, you know that I think that gold and silver are primarily a hedge against inflation, a valuable must-have asset to protect your wealth. But, and this is a big but, I don't see it as a traditional investment. It doesn't yield, it doesn't give you dividends so that you can reinvest, there's no cash flow income, it's just, it just sits there looking really pretty. <laughs> And silver and gold are really pretty, and I love it, but I don't consider it a traditional investment. It's not a great way of you know, making money. I mean, for that, I advocate other things like private mortgage lending and you know, gold and silver mining stocks and some other things, but I, I just don't see it that way. However, this Thursday night on a very special Ask Yankee live stream, I'm going to have Mukaram Majud join me and he is the Chief Investment Officer of Bullionite. He's also a stacker. And, and he is going to try to convince Yankee that this stuff is an investment. Physical precious metals. And you can make money uh, investing in it. I'm going to pepper him with questions. All right. It's going to be a very interesting dialogue. And, I, and, and you will have the same opportunity to do that as well. And we'll just see if I need to learn a few things about investing with this stuff, okay? I've been around the block a few times, but you know, Yankee is always willing to learn. But before Thursday night and that fun time with Mukaram, I wanted to investigate historically, how has silver and gold held up against the stock market? And I'm gonna be using a very interesting website called longtermtrend.net. I'll, I'll leave that uh, link in the description below. Definitely check out my description. There's all kinds of links in there. And I'm gonna show a lot of eye-opening charts from that website that I think will help you see just how well or poorly silver and gold has done compared to the stock market. Well, the first chart that I want to show you is the Dow to gold ratio. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is a stock index that includes 30 large publicly traded U.S. companies. It is one of the oldest and most watched indices in the world. The Dow to gold ratio indicates the number of ounces of gold it takes to buy the shares in the Dow Jones Index. Let's look at this uh, a little closely here. You'll see that there are some momentous uh, turning points, if you will, in the Dow gold ratio. The stock market reached historic highs in 1929, 1966, 1999, and you can see the ratio did the same thing. When the stock market sat near historic lows back in 1932 and 1980, so did the ratio. So when the ratio is high, the contrarian strategy would be to buy gold and silver. And when the ratio is low, that's when precious metals are expensive as it relates to the stock market and you might want to consider selling your gold and silver. By the way, I, I'm not a trader in uh, uh, physical uh, precious metals, so I don't play this Dow to gold uh, ratio. I don't you know, make trades in paper or, or, or physical bullion and and, and try to time it like that. I'm a prepper stacker. I just buy this stuff and hold on to it. I, in a sense, never sell my bullion, <laughs> whether it's constitutional silver or government minted silver bullion or my gold, uh, fractional gold. I have a little bit of bling left, these uh, 10 ounce American gold eagles, but I'll just, <laughs> I'll just sprinkle it here for contrast. No, I, I really don't sell this stuff. Occasionally, I'll flip a few things, but 
No, I'm holding on to this for the long haul, expecting one day to potentially even use it as barter. But let's look to see how the competition stacks up between gold and the Dow. Let's start with 10 years. Hmm. Well, looks like the Dow wins by over 100%. Let's go to uh, 30 years. Whoa. The Dow wins by almost 600%. Okay, so let's go all the way out to 50 years. That's a really long time. Okay. Gold finally wins by over 1,500%. That makes me feel, well, actually, that sucks. That's a, that's a freaking long time. 50 years. Oh, my goodness. All right. How about when I bought my uh, Yankee Cannon tube of... Uh, one ounce gold American Eagles back in 2009. Let's take a look there. 11 years ago. Dang it. <sighs> Looks like the Dow was a better play in the mid to long term. Well, you know, 10 to 30 years. Not the super long term like one's entire investment lifetime, 50 years. But wait, what might be hidden inside those shorter time frames? How about uh, 20 years? Aha, that's more like it. Gold wins by 400%. Okay, well, that time frame is right before the dot-com bust, but, you know, hey, that's not bad, right? 20 years, 400%. How about the really short term, like three years ago? Yeah, okay, almost 20% better with investing in gold. And how about when I started stacking silver hard two years ago? All right, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, gold was better by over 50%. So what is this telling us? Well, the biggest takeaway, for me at least, is that timing is everything. Depending on when you enter in, the Dow or gold could be a better choice. But wait, there's something else missing here. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is a price index as opposed to a total return index. In other words, the Dow doesn't include dividends. The effect of dividend reinvestment is a huge factor, folks. Also, <laughs> where the heck is silver, Yankee? <laughs> I just spread a whole bunch of silver out here. I'm sure you want to know how silver stacks up against the markets. Well, for both of those things, the, you know, the total return index and, and silver, we need to go to another link on the website and see how stocks compare with gold and silver. This chart includes the Dow Jones Industrial Average, but also the S&P 500, which consists of 500 large U.S. companies. The S&P 500 captures about 80% of available market capitalization. So it's a bit more representative of the U.S. stock market than the Dow. But again, <laughs> neither one of those captures dividend reinvestment. For that, we need to look at the Wilshire Large Cap. That is a total return index in which all resulting cash payouts, including dividends, are automatically reinvested back into the fund itself. Therefore, it's an even better way to compare stocks with gold and silver. So let's do that. Let's look at 10 years. All right, well, no contest <laughs> there. Wilshire wins. Um, how about 30 years? Whoa. Well, that shows you how, just how powerful reinvesting can be, huh? How about 50 years? Okay, that's no contest. <laughs> Gold might beat the Dow and the S&P 500 over 50 years, but the Wilshire Large Cap Index beats them all. And silver? Well, that's not very impressive at all. Did uh, Maybe silver did better over 20 years. Okay, yeah, that's better. Not as good as gold, but impressive. Again, that was right before the dot-com bubble burst, but... You know, you can see, again, timing is everything, right? And how does silver compare over the short term, all right? The three years, the two years, you know, three years. 
Ah, that's looking good. Beating out the wheelchair by a, you know, just a little bit there. And how about since I started stacking silver hard two years ago again? Uh, oh, yeah, baby. Silver making a statement there. Look at that. 65% better than the wheelchair large cap index and close to 25% better than gold. So where do we go from here? I don't know what, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow or, or next week or this month. Although I did predict that there would be a significant pullback in September. So we'll see if that prediction turns out true. But I think both the stock markets and gold and silver might rise together. That would keep the ratio rather flat. And if and when inflation takes off, the value of both the markets and precious metals priced in dollars could go through the roof. However, I think we're entering a period where the ratio is going to drop drastically. My view is that this uh, bull market that we've been in uh, with gold and silver has a long way to run, at least two years. I think it's going to go a lot longer than that. Gold and silver might not be at giveaway levels back when you know silver was uh, in the teens and and gold was down in you know, 16, 1700, but there really is no other financial asset that makes sense today. And that I think is just going to keep driving the price of this stuff up. So definitely check out the link in the description uh, to the website longtermtrend.net. It's kind of fun to, to play with that chart, see how well you've been doing in the precious metal space. And man, I'm, I don't know. I, 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 maybe I have to rethink my, my ideas of investing in bullion, physical precious metals. We'll see. But until then, make sure to hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching, and I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.